behalf of KSC Launch Team, past and present, we salute the entire astronaut corps for their dedication, not only for our expanded knowledge of the universe, but for the improvements you have contributed to on Earth. Have an excellent mission and Godspeed. One minute. But oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. T minus 35. 33. Clock is over. T minus 31 seconds due to a failure. And we have a failure. Grand sequencer. The God three track switches. NFTDSP. Go ahead. Yes, sir. We need the uh, guys to go do the verification per the LCC, please. All right. C-Mac. Yes, C-Mac. The LCC says we need to verify using a camera, and we're. Positioning camera 62 right now. Okay, let us know as soon as 62 is swung over and you can verify LCC for GDA retract, please. I keep the They're doing this on purpose. Yeah, I'm glad there's a whole lot of image stabilization. The verification that the GDA has fully retracted. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For our free plan. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, Mac. We verify uh, retracted. Verify that you're fully retracted for the instructions that we're being delivered on the That's correct. All right, and STD? And STD, STD concurs. They set aside the requirements of GSU 13 prepackaged in CIM. Go. Yeah! Yes, sir, I heard all that. Concur. Press on. All right, very good. STD, STD. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I need concurs from the GLS to mass to clear this whole thing. Very good. And GLS? You have concurrence, go. Copy that, it's a work. Thank you, the pilot's no one has complete. Thank you, we have it in work. All right, guys. The 59 of the folks are uh, locked in their whole time in three minutes and 16 seconds. NTDC, TLS, one, two, one, two, we're ready to go. All right, very good. And launch director, with that cleanup, we're going to go ahead and proceed. Yes, sir, please do. All right, and all personnel, we are going to pick up the clock here momentarily. And TLS, you can resume the clock on your mark. I copy that. Top on clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. He might have. Very broad sequence start. And off to Atlantis' computers has occurred. Auto rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. No. Firing chain is armed. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
Seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Forty seconds into the flight. Now revving up, standing by for the final of call. already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 1 minute 40 seconds into the flight. Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where? Right there, right there. There it is. Right there. Oh. 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 Where is it? Atlantis traveling over 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles well, downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. I'm going to punch Chris Don't bring him to the top. I'll grab the Booster separation, guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis taking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Atlantis, two engine trial. That's call from Capcom. So the, in the event of contingency, your in-plane plus 230 on the e page. No comm VIs and you're ready to copy. Okay, in-plane plus 230, go ahead. Press to ATO, 10.8. Press to Miko, 14.7. That's a good read back at Atlantic. Because of the slightly late launch time, Capcom Barry Wilmore reading up the pilot Doug Curley, the updated work boundaries for Atlanta, which is flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle charge fuel tank. Three and a half minutes into the flight, Atlanta's traveling 4,200 miles an hour, 54 miles in altitude, already 120 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells for Atlanta. Atlanta, negative return. That call from Captain Barry Wilmore indicating that we're too high in altitude, too far down range to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. However, uh -huh. the three engines oh, performing perfectly. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlanta is currently traveling 5,500 miles an hour, 2 miles in altitude, almost 200 miles downrange. Four minutes of power flight remaining. Atlanta is speeding straight as an arrow toward its fate with the International Space Station Sunday morning. Coming up on the 
Atlanta Park. Atlanta's now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 250 miles downrange. Atlantis, press to ATO. What? All those are probably canceled. Oh. That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. And this will begin as a roll to the head position four. Five and a half minutes into the flight. I don't want to leave. I just want to stay here. I don't want to leave. 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 I yeah, if you will. Guidance officer and control confirms that the computers are commanding. I want to keep recording just to hear the audio. Thank you. Rolled in a heads up position now, providing better communication to the tracking data relay satellite system. And Atlanta heads up hill. This is Aaron after his techno geek situation. A little frazzled, but he's hanging in there. Atlanta crash to Nico. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Buggy, go to the front back. Go to the front back. Go for the front back. Go for the front back. That is so different. That call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of the last four exploration. Guess we're going to find out. Photography is all the way now seven minutes into the flight. That's crazy. So going on a march, an angle to get into orbit. One minute, yep. twenty seconds till main engine cut off. Atlanta traveling twelve thousand miles an hour. We're gonna go grab the seats, and then they're coming back. Engines will uh, be throttling down once again. The minimum thrust on the shuttle and support crew members to that of three times the effective gravity. Atlanta is currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlanta. Might be in my bag somewhere. Huh? Might be in my bag somewhere. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlanta is now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, standing by the main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle flips in the final chapter of a story, 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlanta's off the tank. Too many pockets. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlanta now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. That is not required. Your preliminary home suit kick, 37 minutes. 47 minutes, uh, no open one required, thank you.